Hey, I'm Breakable Boxheads. I'm Tucker Fair. And I'm Enigma. And welcome to Storytime, where maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. We let you decide. So, it's December. So in honor of December, we're going to tell a snowing story. Even though it hasn't started snowing here at all. I did one day. But... Praise you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that, actually. I didn't even see that it snowed. Anyway, this is a story about when Ben and I were first friends, and we used to do this thing... Uh, don't do this because it's very dangerous. Where Ben would drive, and we would go into in turns, and the car he had. What was the car you had way back when? Um, Your first car? Nova. Mm -hmm. What year was it? I don't remember. Eighty-five. Eighty-five Nova. We should not have been doing these things in eighty-five Nova. No, we shouldn't. Have. But we, he would go to take corners, and he'd go do it, and I would pull the e-brake. And when we would do this, it would cause the car to slide in sideways, like Fast and the Furious. We were like, whoop, whoop, or like the really bad Tokyo Drift movie. Anyway, we would <laughs> we would slide in. And there's a few things that happened with this. One, we were coming in one time into my housing edition, and we pulled it, and we weren't even going very fast. If you do it when you're going really fast, you're just asking for an accident. We're going like yeah. seven miles an hour, maybe something like that. And we slide, and the car sliding sideways. But this time it just wouldn't stop because I don't know if it was extra icy out or what. But like, we're slowly sliding closer and closer to this big brick assortment, not the word I'm looking for, <laughs> sign. You know those big signs that are made out of brick most of the time that say like, Hey, welcome to Fair Housing Edition kind of things. But we're sliding right towards that. And... We were sliding towards it so slow, but we weren't stopping. So I was like, we're going to hit this thing. But we're going like half a mile an hour. So I probably wouldn't have done any damage, so, but, but no. Creepy. So we're like creeping towards it 20 feet, 15 feet, 10 feet. And I roll down the window really fast and take off my seatbelt. And as we get close to the sign, I stick my body out the window and put my hands on the side and I go, no! And I'm like pushing back trying to get the car to stop. We stopped probably like, the side mirror is probably an inch from it. Like it was At least, yeah. stupid close. So that was the one bad thing that happened. And the other thing that happened, and we did this all the time, but the other, we don't do it anymore. <laughs> we're the, no, no. We're a we, little more responsible now. Only a little. Now we know. just do it on the interstate. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't do that. No, so we're on a country road, and I could have killed us. It was really stupid. But we're driving down this country road at like 30, 40 miles an hour. It's ice, snow everywhere. Hadn't really been plowed very well yet. It's a and, country road. What do you expect? Yeah. So we're going, and Benigma, I don't remember what he said, but he said something obnoxious to me. And surprise, I was like, surprise. I was like, oh yeah? Oh yeah? And I pulled the e-brake. We're not turning. We're not doing anything. And the car legit does a complete 360. Turns completely around, all the way around, all without stopping moving in the same direction. So like, imagine you're going straight. I pull the e-brake. The car does a complete 360 spin. <laughs> I almost said 180, but no, it was a 360 spin. And then straightens out immediately. Perfectly straight. Like, we just went, wee, did a spin, and then kept going. The look on his face and my face was priceless. Of course, what made it even worse was literally three seconds later, we had a car go past us, so, you know. Oh, it could have, yeah, if I did that, it, like, because we, we came up on a hill, and we couldn't see the other side, and this car went past us, and I was like, oh, we could have died. <laughs> that would have been bad. We would have done more than a 360. <laughs> we would have done a 360, like, on our wheels, and then we would have done several 360s, like, side over top, <laughs> rolling off into a ditch somewhere. <laughs> And then we'd be dead, and you guys wouldn't be hearing this story today. You'd be dead. I'd be fine. Yeah, okay. I'm Tucker for dang it. I'm Benigma. Exactly. I have way more cushion than you do. All the more reason for the death. No, no, you would definitely be dead. You I would, would suffocate yourself on your belly button. Belly <laughs> <laughs> button. I don't have an Audi. Uh, all right, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this. This is uh, this is an old series we used to do. Months and months ago, we decided to bring back for a week. Let us know if you like it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop a like and leave a comment. And this has been Story Time, where maybe it's true, maybe it's not. And we'll see you all in a little bit. A lot of bit. Dirty bit.
You're supposed to tell them you decide. I'm sorry. Now I guess they don't get to decide. That's the story and you're sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs>